Welcome to another day with Jesus. A daily inspirational and encouraging podcast from the word of God brought by Pastor Preeti. As you listen to this word, may you be equipped for the day ahead. Good morning and greetings in Jesus name. Welcome to this beautiful new morning. I believe that the Lord has been working in your heart even when you don't sense it or even when you don't feel it. The Lord's presence his power his provision is constantly carving out his character carving out his heart his mind upon yours if you're feeling like you have missed the mark if you're feeling like you've not done enough or you've not prayed enough or you've not done the right thing don't worry the grace of god the mercy of god the hand of god is still upon you he has not rejected you just because you got it wrong 10 times or even 10000 times he is still got you covered what he really wants from us is a broken heart is a humble heart is a heart that is willing to change jesus during his teaching told us this particular story in luke chapter 18 verse 9 onwards Let me read it for you. Jesus told this story to some who had great confidence in their own righteousness and scorned everyone else. Two men went to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a despised tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed this prayer. I thank you God for I am not like the other people. They are the cheaters, sinners and adulterers. I'm certainly not like that tax collector. I fast twice a week and I give you a tenth of my income. But the tax collector, he stood in a distance and he dared not lift his eyes to heaven as he prayed. Instead, he beat his chest in sorrow saying, "O oh God, be merciful to me, for I am a sinner." And then Jesus concludes the story by saying, "I tell you, this sinner, not the Pharisee, returned home justified before God. For those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted." Wow, what an illustration of the heart of God. The Bible says that the guy who had so many things to boast about so many characteristics to claim as his advantage before god's presence the guy who was fasting twice a week who has been on point with his tithing who has been on point in keeping all the laws in the bible that is the guy who didn't go back home justified that is the guy who went back home like Cain went back home with his sacrifice with his worship all of it rejected by heaven on the other hand we see this guy who is humbled himself he is not even claiming to be worthy of being in the presence of god and yet he is willing to ask god for mercy he is throwing himself at the uh, mercy of god and he's saying Please be merciful to me. Please understand that I am a sinner. Please help me in this poor estate. And the Bible says this man, this guy who was a tax collector, this guy who had done so many wrong things because of his humility, because of the posture of his heart, he went back home justified. His worship was received. His worship was celebrated in heaven his prayers were answered and god smiled at this guy what does this really teach us that our worship our relationship with god it cannot be based on what we have done it cannot be based on how good we are it cannot be based on the external show offs that we do our relationship with god it is purely based on the posture of our heart if you read verse 9 you would understand why jesus told us the story it says that this story was 
simply targeting some people who had great confidence in their own righteousness and in doing so they scorned everyone else are we in this category of people do we take great confidence in our own righteousness do we look down on others that are not able or that are not doing the things that we do do we constantly criticize and judge people who don't belong to our denomination or our community or who don't have the kind of faith that we have if we fall into this first category of people the kind that goes to god and boasts about what we have done how good we are how qualified we are we have to repent we have to turn our ways we have to come back to jesus today and we have to ask him for his help for his strength for his grace to overcome this pride in our heart if you don't have any other sin you have the greatest sin and that is the sin of your heart the fact that your heart has exalted itself the last verse in this story jesus finished by saying those who exalt themselves they will be humbled so if we have exalted ourselves in any area of our spirituality any area of our walk with god any area of our relationships with other believers other christians then it is better that we humble ourselves than asking or waiting for god to humble us so if you will respond to him like the tax collector did not to say that you are going to have a false humility that says oh i am a nobody oh i am a nothing i'm asking you to posture your heart in a place of humility where you do not compare yourself with somebody else instead you humble yourself before the hand of god and you say lord here i am you know my failures you know my going out and my coming in you know every detail of my life and now i ask you to help me overcome the pride of my heart all the self righteousness in my heart help me overcome the self sufficiency that i have clung to help me overcome this spirituality or this form of godliness that i claim to have when we pray prayer like that we will go back home justified and our worship will be accepted and celebrated in heaven thank you for tuning in today have a blessed and a beautiful weekend ahead with jesus hope this word has blessed you for any queries or help connect with us at pastorpreezy.com may god's presence lead you throughout the day